people and welcome to the channel. Today we have another spring summer Zara haul. I feel like for a couple weeks there, Zara's new releases were like not hitting for me. I wasn't seeing anything like new and exciting. And I'm like an online shopper. I online shop every single day without fail, like every night, put on a little TV show and I'm like online shopping, like that's the vibe. And I honestly have been feeling so uninspired. I've been checking the Zara new releases and I was just like not vibing with the new releases. However, However, last week I was scrolling the little website. I don't even know if it was a week ago. It was probably like five, six days ago or something. And you know when you're scrolling and you're like, oh my God, that's cute. You add it to your cart. Oh my God. That, like I was literally adding so many things to my cart. I eventually had to whittle it down a little bit because I was like, girl, you're in a little crazy out here. But I did end up finding some really great pieces. I found some really cute, like trendy items, but also some like great basics like closet essentials that aren't necessarily super trendy but are things that i'll like keep in my wardrobe year after year and i honestly think you guys are gonna love the items that i found so let's just go ahead and get straight into the video okay you guys starting with the first item i actually was eyeing this on the czar website for over a month easily but it was sold out in my size and i was literally refreshing the page every single day did not go back in stock and then finally one day i got lucky refreshed the page my size was in stock i'm pretty sure within 10 minutes it was sold out again when i purchased it but we secured the bag so i got this little mini skirt i love a mini skirt obsessed like they're honestly my favorite thing to wear and honestly it's not like the craziest skirt i've ever seen in my life but for whatever reason this little belt situation can you see it it's like totally out of focus it's really gonna bother me sorry i'm like looking in my monitor but this little belt situation with the little buttons on the side i just find so cute such like a basic little detail but it's really it's really doing something for me and on the website this is called the belted mini skirt this was 46 dollars, and i did get this in a size extra small i have mentioned this on my channel before but i I feel like Zara's skirt sizing, it's just like truly not the vibe. Every Zara skirt I purchase runs so, so big. Normally my size is like a small or a medium. In Zara skirts, I always have to get an extra small. You know what, I take that back because there's actually another skirt in this haul that I believe I got in a size small. But for the most part, all the skirts that I own from Zara, I have bought in an extra small because they run so, 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 so big. I honestly don't understand. And the description says, mini skirt with a low waist, self belt with snap buttons, tonal interior lining side vents at hem side hidden inseam zip closure so you do have the little oh my god the zipper on the side there we go and the little belt situation is also on the back of the skirt so this is the back of the skirt so you have the same little belt situation you just don't have the little buttons and i'm not gonna lie the first thing that i noticed when i took the skirt out of the czar packaging was the color is definitely not what i was expecting on the website it definitely looks like a creamy yellowy color sort of like an off-white cream with a slight yellow undertone in person it has a little bit of a green undertone and it's sort of giving like a washed lime color honestly sort of similar to the vest i'm wearing right now this is definitely like a true washed lime but this skirt really has some green undertones to it and i certainly wasn't expecting that it definitely doesn't look like it has green undertones on the website so that definitely bothers me because it's a weird color it definitely is a weird color but i love the silhouette so much and i think it's so cute i'll probably still keep it if it fits obviously but the color i'm not so sure about the color yet okay you guys i apologize this might be a little bit of a jump scare because i look like i'm going to the club i am not joking i probably took out every single top in my closet literally Literally no top I owned looked good with this skirt and it's because of the color the color I swear to god clashes with every single top I own I think it's especially because I own a lot of white and cream and because the skirt is sort of cream but with the yellow green undertone it looks so bad with cream like it clashes so much and I honestly for whatever reason thought this pink color looked good next to it because I feel like pink usually looks good with like greeny yellow colors and the annoying thing is I'm obsessed with the skirt I'm obsessed. I love the belt. The fit is great. It's definitely short, but I love like a short mini skirt because if I'm going to show up any part of my body, it's my legs. I don't really love my upper body because I sort of have like broad shoulders and I usually try to not accentuate that. So if I'm going to show any part of my body, usually it's my legs. So personally, I don't mind the length, even though it is short. It doesn't bother me. I think it's cute. I feel like it's a little bit too short to wear to work. Obviously not with this top either. <laughs> this whole outfit's not giving corporate office. I feel 
like maybe if I wore like a sweater with this skirt, I don't know. I just think it's so cute, but I like this color is so strange. I might go grab a cream top to show you quick so you can see how badly it clashes. Okay guys, so originally I grabbed like this cute little sweater situation that I bought at Zara last year. And it's sort of like a creamy off-white color. Like it just clashes. Cause this is giving like warm toned cream and the skirt has sort of like a cool toned hue to it. So like, it just simply doesn't work. And it also is giving very like preppy. And a lot of the stuff I have is more like sweater knits, a little bit more casual and it like didn't fit the vibe of the skirt. So even if the colors kind of went together, the fabrics didn't really look good together. I think I'm gonna keep it, but I'm definitely gonna have to like literally go and buy a top to wear with it, which is kind of annoying. And then it's also annoying because I can't just like wear it multiple times with different tops like it's just such a hard color to match to i'm definitely a little bit disappointed but i don't care i love it like i just for whatever reason think it's so cute i also think the back of the skirt's super cute i love that the belt extends all the way through the back obviously there's like a little gap here but i mean i think it looks fine yeah i don't know she has potential but we need to figure some things out and then next i got this really cute white dress and I actually did buy this dress this morning. Last night I was watching Summer House and I was just like scrolling through the new like Zara arrivals. And I saw this dress and I about had an aneurysm. I immediately put it in my cart, but I like kept scrolling whatever. I like didn't purchase it right away. And then literally I went to my cart and it was already sold out and I was like, excuse me but then i looked at like the in-store availability and it did say that it had my size available at the zara store closest to me so this morning i drove my little self to the mall and picked this baby up because quite literally i haven't really been excited about a dress purchase in a while and this guy i feel like it just totally embodies my style okay so i had to move because like my camera was not focusing on the dress I just kept focusing on my face so i'm gonna try to show it this way basically you have like this nice collar it's like a very thick cottony material it's not like a normal cotton t-shirt fabric it's definitely like a heavier weight cotton and you've got the little drop shoulder situation and what i really loved about this dress was all of the seaming details i feel like it's kind of hard to see them in the camera it's sort of giving a corset vibe i would say and the seaming details are actually more obvious on the back of the dress so just to show you the back Obviously you have like the full center seam and then the two like side seams. But honestly, I love an all white fit for the summertime and I love a classic like white cotton tee. And so when I saw a little dress version, I was like, that's me. That has me written all over it. And on the website, this is called the Fitted Heavy Cotton Mini Dress. This was $30. And the description says fitted mini dress made of dense cotton, round neck and short sleeves. And I did get this in a size small. The only sizes they offer are small, medium, and large so they don't have like extra smalls or extra larges or anything but i do feel like it runs a little bit oversized i would say i didn't try it on in the store or anything so i'm definitely really excited to try this on all right and now we have the like heavy cotton little t-shirt dress which i feel like for most people they're gonna be like okay it's cute but like you know whatever i am obsessed looking at my monitor i don't know if it's the most flattering on me because I have a pretty boxy shape and I want it to be like sucking my body in more and I don't know I just feel like my stomach's like not giving in this so maybe I would wear some like shapewear with it I feel like my style is very much like grunt not grungy grungy is so not the word but like street style like feminine streetwear and I love a good basic but I want a little bit of a twist to it and for whatever reason this is doing it for me. I love the oversized sleeve. I love the corset seams. I wish they were sucking me in a little bit more. Obviously seams don't suck you in, but I wish I looked skinnier in it because you know, the corset seams, you wanna look skinny. My abnormally large rib cage isn't helping. Honestly, it's so rude. I honestly like it regardless. I don't always have to look like the skinniest person in the room. And I will say the fabric's not soft, but it's also not scratchy. I feel like it's fairly comfortable, but it's definitely not like buttery off by any means which no cotton fabric really is so like i said you have the little seams down the front and then you also have the seam details in the back of the dress which i honestly prefer over the seam details in the front of the dress i feel like the front of the dress would look a lot more interesting if the seams were like as obvious as they are in the back like i wish the front of the dress had like more exaggerated seams like that i think it would be a lot cuter but for whatever reason they only did it in the back yeah i don't know i love it it might not be made for my body type i don't really care like for me, 
this might be my favorite item of the whole haul. I'm not even gonna lie. Although I will say quickly, this dress was definitely hard to put on because of like the seaming details. It's very tight and half of my face is probably on the inside of this dress right now because my makeup, like it was quite literally very hard to put on. <laughs> so just be mindful of that because there's definitely, there's definitely some foundation, some concealer, probably some lip gloss um, on the inside of the dress right now. And then next I got these really cute little denim shorts on the Zara website. These are called the Mom Fit Shorts Z1975. Not sure what that means. These were $40 and the description says five pocket shorts with a high waist, front zip and button closure. And I got these in the color mid blue, but they also do have three other color options. You can get them in solid white. These also come in black and then there's like a darker blue denim. And honestly, I thought these would just be a really great summer staple. I wanted like an oversized denim short. I feel like normally when I get shorts, I like like a form fitting short little booty short. But for this summer, I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of like the jorts and I'm kind of obsessed with the jorts. And I feel like jorts, you know, they don't necessarily go with every outfit. So I kind of wanted the vibe of jorts without being so obvious. So I wanted to get like a little light wash denim short that's just like a little bit oversized, casual, mom fit. And I honestly thought these looked really good. These reminded me of like the Abercrombie shorts that are definitely more expensive. But honestly, when I saw these Zara ones on the website, I just felt like they actually looked like really expensive and like well-made and in person, they definitely might look really really good did i mention the price these were 40 dollars. i'm pretty sure the abercrombie ones are like 70 dollars or something but so far really really loving these and i did get these in a size six all right you guys and then here are the little mom shorts which i think are so cute this is honestly an outfit i would wear in the summer i love an oversized white tee los angeles apparel has the best basic cotton tees so this is honestly like one of my favorite tea bodies but like a little basic white tee for the summertime a little mom short literally so cute would probably wear this with some a little adidas samba some white socks just like a cute casual fit it's giving 90s it's giving jennifer aniston and i honestly love how oversized they are although they are still pretty nice and fitted on my waist I still definitely have some extra room. I probably could have sized down to a four. If I wanted a more fitted look, I would definitely exchange these for the size four, but my intention was to have a more oversized short and it's definitely giving oversized. Very cute, casual, vibey. They're definitely comfortable. The quality feels really nice. And I do feel like they look expensive, honestly, for what they are. It's got the little belt loops. A little zipper button situation on one side you have like the double pocket which i like i wish both sides had the double pocket on the back yeah i really like these they're not like the sexiest shorts i've ever worn but that wasn't the intention the intention is to avoid the male gaze that's the intention yeah i definitely recommend these i think they're super cute super comfy if you're looking for that sort of like oversized boyish baggy short i think these are great lastly i got an item that's not super exciting and honestly it's like kind of similar to the first item but i just got this little white mini skirt i've noticed at work a lot there's like certain outfits where i just want like a super super basic white mini skirt to wear it's definitely not like the standout piece of the outfit i feel like sometimes i just need that like completer white mini skirt and i didn't have like just a super basic one to throw on in my closet and one that would still be like appropriate to wear in my corporate office and honestly i searched the whole czar website they have so many different versions of like a white mini skirt and different fabrics different lengths some were more like cargo vibes, you know, all different kinds of versions, but I just wanted like a super, super basic white mini skirt, nothing on it that I could wear to work that would be appropriate. And this one is the Scuba Effect mini skirt. This was only $28, so super affordable. And it says mini skirt with a high waist, side hidden and seam zip closure. There are three color options. I got it in white, but they also have black and red. And on the website, it did say that the item ran small and Personally, with these types of skirts, because I knew it would have sort of like an elastic waistband, I hate the feeling of like tight elastic on my stomach. So I did get the small, so hopefully it fits and that I don't have to return it for the extra small. But honestly, just looking at it in person, I do feel like the small will fit. And I love the hand feel of the skirt. Once I saw that the fabric was a scuba fabric, I work in fashion and personally, I've been working more with scuba fabrics recently. And I also knew that was kind of the vibe I wanted in the skirt. And scuba is like a thicker sort of stretchy 
stretchy fabric so it'll definitely hide any you know lumps and bumps it's not like super thin but it's still stretchy and comfortable and the skirt is double lined so I feel like you know you don't have to be super cautious of things showing and it being see-through but yeah okay guys lastly we have this little mini scuba skirt and honestly I really like it. Like I mentioned before, this skirt's definitely not like the standout moment of the outfit. It's just a little outfit completer. I just threw on this little shirt from Pepper Mayo. Obviously this is like the statement piece of the fit, but I think it looks really cute with a little matching white mini skirt. And at first I was a little bit worried because when I was like tucking the shirt in, you can definitely see like the outline of the fabric a little bit. So while the fabric here is definitely on the thicker side, you can still see a little bit through the skirt like if you can see the bottom of the shirt here yeah as I was pulling it up you could see it move it's not super obvious and it would never bother me enough where I wouldn't actually end up wearing it but obviously you can definitely see through it a little bit but you could really only see the fabric the print wasn't showing through at all so even though the print goes all the way down the shirt you can't see like the colors of the print or anything through the skirt so honestly if I could see the colors through the skirt that would definitely bother me and I would probably return the skirt in that case but because you can only see the fabric like it really truly doesn't bother me and then just to quickly show back of the skirt you know very basic i will say though i feel like it's definitely booty enhancing the fabric is sort of that like seamless suck you in fabric so i do feel like it's doing my booty some favors which i appreciate there's some skirts that i own where the fabric definitely like is not booty enhancing and i look like i have a pancake butt so definitely appreciating the scuba fabric i still don't have the biggest butt in the world but she exists she's there yeah definitely recommend this especially for the price point from what i remember it was like 27 ish dollars and i do feel like that price point is really really great for the quality i also feel like the fit's really nice i'm glad i got the small and personally I feel like it fits true to size I don't feel like it runs like small or large I feel like it's a pretty standard small fit and the fabric is super stretchy so it definitely has some some give to it another thing I really like about it is the waistband like the elastic at the waistband isn't too tight so it doesn't feel uncomfortable on my stomach at all or, you know when you wear a mini skirt where the elastic's too tight and then like your stomach fat pokes out I don't feel like it's doing that so you know I appreciate that overall super comfortable the fabric's really nice I definitely feel like it's sucking me in and yeah, I definitely definitely recommend this skirt super cute All right, you guys. Well, that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this little Zara haul Please comment like and subscribe. I really really appreciate it And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next video Bye. Easy, easy, babe.